recording? Yeah, it's going. All right, sit down and record. All right, it's fine. Just say what you gotta say. Now, normally I'm not the type of guy who likes to sit in front of a camera and just talk. But lately there seems to be some sort of interest in what Kelvin Heights has to say. They want to know my thoughts on O'Shea Edwards after I cost him and Team Coda the oh-so-precious important match that they had a few weeks ago. And everybody wants to know my thoughts on this Model City Rumble coming up February 23rd. Let's talk about the Rumble. You know what? Matter of fact, I don't even want to waste my time addressing the locker room. Because here are a bunch of guys who are pretty talented, but there's a portion of their locker room who pick and choose who they decide to come for. Prime example, O'Shea Edwards took social media a few days ago, decided to call out the entire locker room. And not only did he do that, he one by one trashed every single man in that locker room. And what happened? Silence. It's as if no one had the balls to step up and say anything to O'Shea Edwards, huh? Yet, as soon as I step up, as soon as I say anything, now all of a sudden, these tough guys want to come out the woodworks. They want to play vet and come to me in the comments telling me how I should handle the situation. They want to come in my inbox telling me how I should respond to the situation. While the entire time, they were sitting there with their balls in their hand, hiding behind their keyboards and their little Facebook reactions. And these are the same guys that want to play tough and come in my face and try to talk to me and talk down to me like I'm some goddamn pushover. These are the same guys that still look at me like I'm that same kid out of Pell City who didn't know what the hell he was doing. But you know what? I want y'all to keep that mentality. I want you to keep that perception of me. Because February 23rd, when I step in that ring and I toss each and every last one of you over that top rope, one by one, and you sit there with that disappointed look on your faces and you see my hand being raised, as to go on to fight O'Shea Edwards for the championship, I want you to realize something. That pushover is gonna be your next new level champion. Then you have no choice but to respect my damn name. Now, as far as O'Shea Edwards goes, who are you fooling, bro? Huh? I see right through you, man. Do you not realize you may have the rest of that locker room shook, but understand something. I'm that guy that stood by your side doing your dirty work for over a year now. You and I both know, yeah, you act all big and bad behind your little camera on Facebook. You and I both know that the only reason you're barking loud right now is because you're afraid. See, you're afraid because you know that your time as big dog is being numbered. You know that your reign is coming to an end at the hands of the guy that you saw the most potential in. That guy that you tried so desperately to hold back and keep by your side, fearing that this day will one day happen. The guy that deep down inside you are the most intimidated by, and that's me. You know, I remember when you and I first crossed paths, and you looked me dead in my eye, and you said, when you're ready, find me. O'Shea oh, was I am more than ready. And I know exactly where to find you. So here I come, bitch.